Hey, what's up guys, Amnesio Cole, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make accurate reflections for your 3D text in Element 3D for Fortnite or Call of Duty montages. Now this video is just going to be covering Modern Warfare, but if you want me to do a second video on Fortnite later on, then let me know down in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be going under the assumption that you already know how to make 3D text and motion track in Element 3D. This video is just going to be covering reflections and lighting. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick your cinematic. Now, I actually got the cinematic from Ghost Green, and it's just this little flyby from Shipment. It's in one of his map packs, his cinematic map packs, but it can be really any cinematic. So the first thing you want to do is actually launch a Modern Warfare. All right, now once you're in the game, you want to come down to this last tab over here and then go to custom game, game setup. For the map, you want to make sure it's the map that the cinematic is in. So for me, it's shipment. So I'm going to go down here and select shipment. Go over here, game rules. Make sure spectating is set to free. Third person spectating enabled, enabled. Go to gameplay, make sure realism mode is on. Enable minimap, make sure that is disabled. Radar always on, disabled. Then go back, bot setup, create one enemy bot. And then you can just put the difficulty on whatever because it doesn't really matter. Then go back, back again, and then start match. And then once the game starts, you want to go over here then change team, spectate, and uh, usually there is something like a, a little HUD that'll pop up in the bottom. So if that happens and you have to continually switch your spectating mode while using your whatever button is bound to that. So for me, it's my mouse button. So I just keep pressing that until it's free cam. So once it's free cam, we can go and we can actually check where the cinematic is again. And we can see it is in this back crate in the back of shipment. So you want to go right here and just look the other way and take a screenshot. That's pretty much it. Really simple. All you have to do is make sure that there's no HUD because especially if you're using a Chrome material on your text, then it will actually show the HUD on the material and you don't want that. So uh, yeah, just a nice clean screenshot right here is is what I, what I do. And now that we're done with that, let's go back into After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects, go to your Element 3D layer and go to Scene Setup. Click on Environment. Then click on that little drop down arrow and click load from file. And then this is where you want to find your screenshot that you took. And it's just easy as that. Now you can tweak, there's a whole bunch of settings you can tweak. You can tweak the gamma, the brightness, contrast, all of that. You can change how the reflection overlaps. And that is it. That's basically it. How you get accurate reflections and lighting in Element 3D for After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.